Tattoos could make you sick. Thinking about getting some ink? Might want to think again. A new study finds tattoo ink may leave microscopic particles that can circulate in the immune system and end up in the lymph nodes. Scientists examined deceased individuals with tattoos and deceased individuals without tattoos using X-ray fluorescence to identify ink particles. They also used Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy to detect biomolecular changes in the surrounding tissue. Researchers found elevated levels of metals, including aluminum, chromium, iron, nickel, and copper, in the lymph nodes and skin in some of the tattooed subjects. The study concluded contamination could lead to chronic enlargement of the lymph nodes and long-term exposure to toxic compounds. The scientists say the next step will be to study what particular health effects ink particles may cause in the human body. Tattoos Researchers say forget flu shots, get inked to boost your immune system. Just kidding, uh, sort of. A study published by researchers from the University of Alabama in early March suggests that receiving multiple tattoos could strengthen a person's immune system. In order to conduct their study, researchers obtained saliva samples from customers at local tattoo parlors. From the samples, the researchers measured levels of cortisol, a stress hormone that suppresses the immune response, and immunoglobulin A, an antibody that lines the mucous membranes throughout our bodies. The study found that stress from getting a first tattoo causes increased levels of cortisol. This then decreased the amount of immunoglobulin A in the body. Lowered concentrations of antibodies resulted in a weaker immune system. People with more tattoo experiences were found to have a smaller decrease in immunoglobulin A after getting tattoos, meaning that their body had adapted to higher stress levels. In short, the experience is comparable to getting vaccinated or working out for the first time in a long while. The first time is draining, but the pain lessens every subsequent time. Critics argue, however, that the study's sample size of 29 people was too small to represent the larger population. It should be noted, though, that the researchers aren't recommending getting tattoos for the sake of immunity. In fact, the first tattoo can make a person temporarily weaker and more susceptible to disease. Man with face tattoos booted from Texas restaurant. A Houston restaurant received viral backlash after receiving hundreds of complaints on its Facebook page from upset users for refusing to serve a patron with face tattoos. Meet Eric Layton. He's a regular guy who works nine to five at a chemical plant and has grown up with a family that loves to get body ink. He and his buddy Chad Moss wanted to grab a bite to eat at Bombshells and Webster earlier this month. After they were seated, the manager on duty, Josh, whose last name we don't know, took one glance at the pair and assumed they were gang affiliated. He immediately wanted them out, so the cop on duty was asked to escort the tatted up men out of the venue. After 20 minutes of shitty service, the manager ousted the men based on the way they look, saying they have the right to refuse service. Angry and hungry, the guys went down the street to Twin Peaks, where Eric decided to complain on Bombshell's Facebook page. The 27-year-old didn't know his rant would go viral, forcing the restaurant to apologize and now accept people with tattoos. Eric told us here at Tomo News the only difficulty he's ever had was getting into an upscale bar. I don't feel like I look like a gang member, but um, that, that's what their excuse always is. We here at Tomo do not discriminate anyone based on the way they look, so we decided to treat this guy to dinner. Cheers to you, Eric. Let's hope people see your ink as an expression of your colorful personality. MIT designs smart tattoo that can control your phone. A group of PhD students from MIT Media Lab in collaboration with Microsoft Research have developed a smart tattoo that can not only remotely control your gadgets, but is also quite fashionable too. One version of the smart tattoo has an input function using capacitive touch sensing. The gold leaf functions as electrodes and is attached to a touch controller that filters all raw data. Once the tattoo is applied onto the skin, the user can swipe or click on the tattoo as a trackpad. Another version of the smart tattoo uses skin as a display. A layer of thermochromic ink is added to the tattoo, which changes color when exposed to high temperatures. A third version contains an NFC chip that connects to a coil made of gold leaf, which allows users to exchange data via near-field communication. 
Researchers say the tattoos can be designed into any pattern and can even include LED lights. The materials needed to construct this technology are highly accessible, which means the total cost of making one of these tattoos is less than $5. Man dies after swimming with new tattoo. A Texan man's choice to swim in the Gulf of Mexico five days after getting inked led to his recent death. A study published in the British Medical Journal Case Report explains how the man contracted vibriosis. That infection triggered what's known as septic shock. Septis occurs when a bacterial infection causes immune chemicals to be released into the bloodstream, thus triggering widespread inflammation. This can lead to poor circulation from blood clots and leaky vessels. This impaired blood flow can cause some organs to fail and may escalate to septic shock. It can also cause severe bruising on the skin. When this happens, several organs such as the lungs, heart, brain, kidney, and liver can fail, resulting in death. The man who died in Texas developed severe pain in his legs and feet three days after swimming in the Gulf of Mexico. He was admitted to Parkland Hospital in Dallas where his condition worsened. He died around two months later at 31 years of age.